Hello, I am Olga from Minerva and in this video I wanted to share with you a compilation of posts that I have gathered from our website where people have been sharing what they've made with our new Minerva exclusive viscose Chili fabric. There's options for everyone, there's more vibrant colors, there's more neutrals, there's tons and tons of stuff. I will be linking that below so you can go and have a look and browse. So today I thought I would share with you some posts that people have shared on our website where they've uh, talked about what they've used and kind of what patterns they mixed it with and how they're styling it, how they're, what they're creating using our fabric. So I think this is a great fun way to explore what is out there. If you also want to be part of our community, it's really easy to create an account on our website. You just click the register button. It's really quick and easy. You don't have to pay for anything. It's super free. And it's a really great way to share what you're making, to get inspired by other makers around the world, meet other people that like the same things as you and that are interested in the same things as you. Um, it's just a great place to find new friends and find new inspiration. So definitely have a look at that if you haven't already. So without further ado, I wanted to share with you the posts that I selected from people using our new fabric. So first things first, we have Twinkalink, that's a great name. And they've made a really, really nice blouse using the Closet Core Cali shirt pattern. Um, and then they chose our Feline Flex Viscose Chalie. Uh, it's really nice fabric. It's got these uh, big tigers on it and then little little uh, white dots all around. And it's actually kind of a really great mix between um, a fabric that is out there because of the felines, but also kind of subdued because of the color. Um, the color scheme is really simple and it's also got the beautiful texture of the of the dots and it looks great in this shirt because it has a really great drape so it looks super comfortable and breezy and it looks like it'd be something that would that was very comfortable in the hotter days that we had this summer i think the buttons that they picked for this go really beautifully with the pattern um so it's not just about what fabrics you use it's also about what notions you use to go with i think that makes a really makes a big difference in what you're making then we have vicky sews and this is a little video of them showing us the um blast that they made this is such a cool abstract print um i personally don't think this would suit my style but i can see so many of my friends wearing this actually um, like as you can see in this video, it it has such beautiful drape. It's it's super breezy and breathable. I just think this one looks, and it this is such a beautiful combination of pattern and print. I think they use the Butcher 5955 pattern, which is a really plain kind of simple blouse. It's a very um, simple cut. It's sort of drapey. It has a V neck nothing much to it but when you pair it with this Babylon art viscose chalet fabric and you have this kind of combination of a really simple cut a really simple kind of design but you have the the print of the fabric which is such a showstopper you actually get this really beautiful balance between those two things so i think that is beautifully chosen from um, Vicky Sews and it really suits them so perfectly. I think this color um, this color scheme is also really good for them. So then we have Sew and, Sit, <laughs> Sew and Snip. That's a cute name. Um, and they've made, um, they've used the Tropical Dusk uh, fabric. And this is one that I really, really enjoy. I think this one would look really good in my wardrobe. Um, it has this kind of tropical like it says in the name, kind of tropical uh, print. They used the Paper Theory Zadi jumpsuit to make um, the pattern to make this, and it looks really, really great. I like the tie um, that ties around the waist. It gives you a better shape than kind of just a box. Uh, and it actually, when they stand, it looks like a skirt. Uh, it looks like a dress more than, than trousers. So I think this would be really comfortable and easy to wear in the summer. Everyone in the community just, seem, just seems to have like amazing taste. Ugh, it's such a beautiful fabric. Then we have um, possibly one of my favorites. I don't know. So this is from Lich Deity. I'm not sure if I said that correctly. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. And 
They've made this beautiful dress. I love this print so much. Uh, it is the Boudoir Bouquet Viscose Jolie, and they used the I Am Sewing Irma dress and shirt pattern. Again, it's kind of a simple pattern, but when you pair it with this fabric, it just comes to life. Sort of subtle enough that you could wear this every day, but also has enough interest that isn't boring. Congratulations on your make. It is great I love it then we have so so I they use popcorn jelly viscose jelly this is another one of my favorites and I know I, I'm gonna say that a lot and this is the Fisterra dress from itch to stitch um super super chic I think you could wear this to all sorts of different events you could dress it down you could dress it up um, I could see people wearing this I could see them wearing this to a wedding actually like I this print is so cute Ugh. I love, I'm just, sorry, I'm just looking at the photos. Um, the photos are amazing, by the way. Um, I love the elasticated back. It makes it look really, really comfortable. Another one of my favorites, I think this, this fabric uh, is so cute. Then we have No Indie Hands, and they've made another dress. Let me see. This is the Chalk and Notch Fringe Dress, and they use the Urban Cheetah fabric. I... <laughs> I have to say, I love this on them. I don't think I would wear this this print specifically, but it looks so good on them. I think that the green makes it not as um, kind of flashy as you, you would assume a cheetah print would be. Uh, and then you have the pink, which really gives it some balance and gives it a bit more interest and texture. Oh, it has pockets, of course. Oh, another one of my favorites. Sorry, I keep saying that. Then we have Malika Designs, and they made the Savi dress from Sew House 7 pattern. Again, super simple design of the, the pattern itself, but then you use this fabric, and it just goes from 0 to 100. This is the Monstera Street uh, Viscose Chili fabric. And it has uh, monstera leaves, and it's just black and white. And make a really cute, like, full circle skirt as well, because the pad, the print is quite big, so it it looked cute with things that are big. Yeah, I think the way they paired it with like just simple sandals looks really great. If you don't like wearing a lot of color, then this could be a good option for you, because obviously it has the summer vibes of the monstera leaves, but then it's not super vibrant in terms of color because it's just black and white. So it might be easier, and it's closer to a neutral because you could wear it with lots of different colors. You could add the color with your accessories. I think that'd be really cute, like a red handbag or something. Next we have Alice, Queen of Darts. Oh my god, what a great name as well. This is again the Tropical Dusk, and we've already seen this fabric, but we saw it in the jumpsuit. It's the Orchard Dress from Helen's Closet Patterns and it is super cute i love the kind of spaghetti straps it, again super super simple um super simple design for the dress and it looks insanely comfortable oh it has pockets as well it looks really comfortable and summery this fabric really suits this pattern because it really gives space for the fabric to shine um, and that's, I think, what you want with the our Minerva exclusive uh, viscose chili is because a lot of the patterns are so beautiful and so intricate. There are some simpler ones and there's some more kind of vibrant ones. You get this great balance uh, between the pattern and, and the fabric. So uh, then we have La Casa Cactus. <laughs> Again, great name. And they've made this beautiful dress. I love the sleeve uh, details because they're kind of like a puffy little sleeve, and I love me some puffy sleeves. This is the Floral Jungle fabric. We haven't seen this one before in today's video. And it is the Fistera Top and Dress from Itch to Stitch. And we've already actually seen this um, dress, but it was a different variation. They just look so happy. I love it. Next, we have some trousers to cleanse our palette a little bit from all those dresses. And this is from Indoor Shannon, and it's a really nice pattern of trouser because it has the elasticated waist pockets and they look really comfortable but they look like you could um wear them for multiple different situations really because uh, the way they've they've styled it they look kind of dressy so i think that's a great option of trouser they use the parading palms uh fabric yeah i think the trouser option for this was really smart 
They use the uh, A605 pattern, which actually includes different lengths of like culottes and skirts and trousers. So there's quite a few options with this pattern. Um, so it's definitely worth having a look. Oh, this is another one that I really, really liked. Uh, and it's from So I Sewed This. <laughs> it does what it says on the tin, right? And they used the Rainforest Rhythm Viscose Chalet. I really like this, this fabric as well. I think they kind of like Frankensteined a pattern. They used um, a few different ones. I think they used uh, New Look 40, uh, 6446 for the bodice and then different ones for the, the skirt. So definitely go and have uh, a look. They made a whole post about it um, to you know share the ups and downs of this make but i think it came out beautiful it looks amazing i love the ruffle on the skirt it looks it really adds um an extra detail but the bodice is really great i think the back is shirred as well oh yeah the back of the bodice is shirred this is genius it looks incredibly comfortable i've not done shirring very much but it this is such a smart dress because it looks incredibly comfortable but also like fitted and dressy i don't know this is really really great then from saturday night stitch again excellent name and they've made this blouse so they use the simplicity 8215 blouse pattern and the bubble shoal viscose chili uh the bubble shoal is kind of a black back or like a dark navy background with um a lot of they look like dots, but plain, but it's really beautiful and it's quite vibrant because against the dark navy background, the colors really pop. The buttons that they use for this blouse really blend in seamlessly. I think the collar looks great and the cuffs on the sleeves as well. The sleeves are gorgeous and there's just so many details in this, um, in this shirt, but it actually doesn't get lost in translation with this busy pattern. I think it actually, um, they complement each other really nicely which is great and again they look so happy in every photo and it's just like that feeling that you get when you make something new and you just want to wear it and show everyone and tell everyone that you made it i just i love that feeling okay so that is everything that we have time for today i hope that this gave you some ideas of ways that you can use our new uh, viscose chalet range it is exclusive to us so you can only find it on minerva.com definitely go and have a look. There's some that have already launched. There's some new coming. So definitely check out the range that we have. It's really great. And as you can tell, a lot of people have been making it. Definitely go and have a look. I will link all of those below so you can go and browse and maybe follow these people so that you can have more sewing friends, more sewing inspiration. Because I mean, is it ever, do we ever have enough sewing friends? Do we ever have enough sewing inspiration? I don't think we do. If you do end up recreating any of these or using our viscose chalet fabric, definitely tag us and post it on our website so we can have a look. We love having a nosy around all of your makes. We love knowing that you're loving our fabrics and working with them and making great outfits. And I, it's just makes our days. So definitely share those with us. We would love to see them. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and we will answer them as quickly as possible. So that is everything for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.